I'm uh, obviously pleased that this uh, uh, planning permission was refused. I mean, it made no sense whatsoever. I mean, and again, if you read Ungarda Shia Khan's report, they were not willing to kind of support this in any shape or form for many different reasons. One of the reasons being that it would be inconsistent with their policy. But besides all of that, I mean, like, you know, this makes common sense to put something that's not a treatment centre in the centre of town where people can come along and inject heroin is completely and absolutely the wrong way to go about this. This is part of a failed policy on behalf of the government and also those who were involved in the Merchant's Key project and the Anna Livia project. Propaganda is what this is and as I said the proper way towards the, uh, in dealing with the issue of uh, a drug addiction in our streets in our cities is rehabilitation and detox so I'm you know pleased that the planning uh, didn't go ahead I'm disappointed though that the two million odd euros that would have been given to this particular project is not going into uh, the uh, uh, rehabilitation of individuals I mean this is akin to saying that a, a, a room in a hotel is a great substitute for a built house it's not built houses built homes will get rid of the homeless situation, build rehabilitation institutions, uh, build uh, detoxification beds and give the many addicts on our streets the opportunity to really transform their lives. This is a failure of the drugs the drugs uh, policy. When they handed out needles in the first instance, they handed out needles in order to actually curtail the spread of AIDS. That didn't actually uh, progress, that didn't happen and that was a failure program. So the needles were being well discarded a hell of a long time ago. What you have on the city streets also was individuals using in the parks etc etc. This is normal. In jurisdictions where they do have uh, an injection centre, this continues. And uh, the argument again that most people won't die in the injection centre, no but they'll die outside. So this is part and parcel of addiction. This is part and parcel of the chaotic lives that many people live, including some members of my own family. And indeed myself, I lived that chaotic life when I was, you know, basically a chronic alcoholic uh, and using everything to, to, to basically get completely out of my mind. I lay on the streets. It didn't matter what state I was in as a person. You know, I, just, I lived in skips. I was in a deplorable state until I got rehabilitation, until I got detoxification, until I got rehab in the likes of Talbot Grove and the Rutland Centre. This is the answer to that situation. It's everywhere. It's common place and the reason why it's commonplace is is because we're not actually doing the real proper programs that's why you have rope sleeping that's why you have homes it's because we're not building homes we're simply not building homes and if we don't build homes you're going to have homelessness equally if you don't build detoxification and rehabilitation residential rehabilitation opportunities well then you're going to have this in our streets that's the simple situation and opening up a Mickey Mouse propaganda center here would be absolutely catastrophic and wrong and in rejection of the opportunities that are there for people. People want rehab, they want detox, they want a chance in their lives and they're not getting a chance. That's the situation and sticking them in here in this architecture of containment is an absolute, is, is betrayal, absolute betrayal of our most vulnerable.